Hello, in this video I want to show that it's possible to code a new boundary condition quickly in OpenFoam. As an example, we'll create a boundary condition for a uniform velocity at an inlet that ramps from zero to a ramp value over a ramp time, both specified by the user. And we'll call our boundary condition ramp velocity. We'll go to the run directory first and we'll use the uh, foam new BC script to create a template code for a fixed value condition for a vector field. Go into the ramp velocity directory and we'll open the .h file. I'm using the Emacs editor here. Um, the file contains some example private data that are commonly used in boundary conditions. We'll keep the single scalar value for our ramp time and single vector value, but we need to delete the other private data. Um, then we'll open the .c file and we remove the deleted data starting with the initializations in all the constructor functions. There's the first one. Go to the second constructor, remove the data that we've deleted. Uh, same again for the third one. Now the fourth constructor and finally the last constructor function. Now we'll delete the data from the mapping function. So there's one piece there and another one and some other redundant data. We just delete that. And then we go to the update coefs function delete the, remove the deleted data from there. Finally, we'll go to the write function and remove the deleted data there. Go back to the, now we um, need to rename the private data. So we're gonna replace scalar data with the word ramp time throughout the .c file. Same again, we'll replace now the entry data with uh, ramp value. Now we need to do the same in the .h file. So for the private data declaration, we need to change the name scalar data to ramp time. And we need to replace data with ramp value. We save that file. Go back to the .c file and now we're going to implement the boundary condition, go to the update coefs function, and we need to set the values to be equal to the ramp value multiplied by t divided by ramp time, which can be no bigger than one. We save that file, exit Emacs, and now we'll compile our library. Boundary conditions compiled into a library called lib ramp velocity. To test the boundary condition, we'll use the transient pits daily case go to the run directory and copy the case over. We'll go into the case directory and run block mesh to generate the mesh. And now we'll edit the control dict file and insert a libs entry for our new library, which will be loaded at runtime when we run the case. So there's our libramp velocity.so. Save that file. We'll now go into the velocity file uh, in the zero directory and we'll replace our fixed value boundary condition with the new one ramp velocity. Now for that we need to add entries for ramp time so we'll put in 0.01 seconds then we'll do ramp value which is a value of 10. Save the file. Now we'll run pimple foam on the case and now to check the values of our, our, of our boundary condition. If you just do a grep on the value entry, it just happens to be the value for the boundary condition. So we'll test a few as we go along. As you can see at 0.001, we have a value of one, 0.002 is a value of two, 0.004 value of four. If we try now the ramp time 0.01, we reach the full value of 10. If we exceed that, we're still at 10. So we know we've, we've stopped at the top of the ramp value. 
And that's it. That's a boundary condition fully implemented and tested in just about five minutes.